Tonight, a teen genius from Metro Detroit is making a difference that could have a huge impact on modern medicine. He won a competition known as the Super Bowl of Science, along with a quarter of a million dollar prize in the nation's capital. 7 Action News reporter Simon Shakehead introduces us to the Celine High School senior who could change the world. I believe very strongly that hard work is the most important thing. At just 17 years old, Neil Modgol has his sights set on conquering the most challenging problems in modern medicine. Right before COVID and during that early phases is when I started working on this project. His love of science started young. He credits his success to the encouragement he received from his parents, who are both scientists, and mentor Dr. Aaron Frank. The fact that he believed in me at such a young age, he agreed to work with me, he gave me a project to work on. Neil is a collector of rocks and minerals, as well as postage stamps and ancient coins. Earlier this month, Neil put it all on the line. Hi, my name is Neil Malko. I'm a senior at Saline High School in Saline, Michigan. Competing in the Super Bowl of Science in DC, known as the annual Regeneron Science Talent Search. 40 finalists were picked out of 2,000 projects entered. But in the end, Neil came in first with a computer model that rapidly and reliably predicts structure of RNA molecules to diagnose and treat diseases like cancer. Went through grueling interviews. Uh, his work was looked at very closely. And, you know, my hope is that Neil is going to continue doing world class research. Winning a quarter of a million dollars hasn't taken away from Neil's sense of humility. In fact, he says he's very grateful to his public school education here at Celine High School. My school has been amazing, my counselor in particular. Neil plans to use his $250,000 prize for his education, including medical school. He's not sure where he'll attend college, but is already taking advanced courses at U of M and his GPA. It's 4.0 and then I think 4.71 weighted. Now in its 82nd year, the nation's oldest and most prestigious science and math competition, once again inspiring the next generation of scientists and engineers. They are solving the world's most intractable problems. They're looking at climate change, communicable diseases. They're looking at artificial intelligence. I really, really hope that someday I'll have the opportunity to find another young person who's interested and be that mentor for them. Until then, he's savoring his final months of high school while teaching all of us a thing or two about achievement. From Ann Arbor, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.